You know, fire's going. It's nice and toasty in here. We got our vapor barrier everywhere. I'm going to head outside. We had about seven or eight inches of snow last night. It was pretty wet, heavy snow too. Kind of snowed in. Eh, not really snowed in. We can, we can get out, I think. I probably have to fire up the snow thrower. Clear the driveway off. It's just absolutely beautiful out here. So, yeah, we got a lot of pretty snow. And Amy and Liliana are out here playing already. 19 degrees out. Kind of warm, I guess. Yeah, so the trees are all full. Yeah, it snowed quite a bit. Unfortunately, we uh, had a little bit of a casualty. Our uh, tent has collapsed, and uh, we need to try and figure that out. I've uh, I put the tree in there the other day, the Christmas tree that we cut, so that uh, the rabbits wouldn't get at it, and I could knock the snow off of it before we put it inside. Uh, however, it has uh, it's in there. Pretty sure we lost all the steel frame, and our table saw is in there too. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary to you. Look what my present is to you. See, I'd planned a day of leisure and fun, and this That's is what, what you get. <laughs> this may be funner though. This may be funner. I doubt it, but. <laughs> well, we're gonna have this, to start raking. This tent can only withstand eight inches of snow, just so you know the steel frame. Cause we were, we were doing pretty good uh, raking it off every time we had a snow incident and so eight inches is what it takes to take this down um, just be aware <laughs> when your house is raining on the inside you're like kind of put things off or your chimney prevents you from having a fire <laughs> you kind of put these things off yeah so Priority we should have shifts. listened to our neighbor who said uh you should take your tent down we should take our tent down because it's going to be a lot of effort to keep it the snow off it. Can I shovel daddy? Nope. Mm. Don't eat your shovel. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be tight. This is going back to my Air Force Station. Did, were you a tunnel rat in Nam <laughs> or something or what? I can see her coming up. I know. Well the snow rake's in there. We need to get the snow rake out. There she is! Thank you for the snow rake. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know how this metal street out. <laughs> I I already knew we were, we lost the whole frame. Okay. I I I was kind of patronizing you when I said, yeah, okay, let's save it. Okay. It's it's all toast. I know it is. I love you. Are you okay? It is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're inside the tent. This, this is good right here. This is, well, somewhat good. Okay, so then we go down the line here and it kind of bends, it keeps bending. So I want to show this right here. You can see, I don't know if you can see we are this close to the saw blade with the canvas. So I'll try to clear this area off first and I'll bring that saw blade down so that we don't tear a hole in the canvas. Yeah, the rest of the tent, you can see it's fallen off and it's bent right there. right there 
I mean, it goes all the way down the line. Those are all, all vents on both sides. There we go. Yeah, and Richard had put our Christmas tree in here to keep it safe from the snow. <laughs> and I climbed through that little hole way down there. I knew I wasn't getting the snow rake through, so I kind of put it through that part there. There's where we're currently at. And uh, now we're gonna take down our home and we don't get to work in here anymore. But it's been great and we'll, we'll figure things out. Okay, we get to clean off this. I just did this the other day, Mom, but you can, can see the amount of snow. Can I hold chickens? If, yeah, if they permit it. So, here, we're gonna come around here. I must say there's something very satisfying about shoveling though. I love shoveling dirt and snow. We did. It was our home for five months. I know it. It was a stupendous home, and I have no doubt we're gonna fix it. Some of the stuff we can salvage. I think so too. We have a pipe bender. <laughs> uh, some of the metal's kinked though. Yeah. So that's not. There's a bird up there. What? There's a bird up there. Look. A what? Bird. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got like a white guy. Wish I had a bit of zoom on the camera. I know. Okay, what's our plan of attack? Oh, this is nice. You stomp this down good. Yeah. I mean, I can probably, I'll wheel it out of here if you want to hold this up. Sure. Oh, you already got it this far? Wow. Okay. Cool. Oh, I bet you that was cold. It was. Oh, sorry. If I could borrow the rake or something, or you do it. I'll just do it real quick. Uh, but yeah, I got it pretty, as far as I could get it. And I got this side. You'll see. What's that? Like that, though. <laughs> 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 
Okay, so it's laundry day. Um, I tried earlier this week. It's really temperature dependent upon when we do laundry. Uh, the other day when I did it, I was able to do two loads before the hose froze up. So here we are today, uh, picking up where we left off and I'm hoping to get three loads done. It's about 10 degrees outside, so uh, it should afford us the opportunity to do, hopefully, the laundry. We'll see. I got to bring the hose in. We have a 100-foot hose that I have to bring in the night before to get it thawed. I try to get make sure all the water is out of here each time and then stow it away but sometimes um, there's still a little bit of water and that little bit of water can freeze in here and prevent the flow. I brought both the hoses in. There's also a hose in here for draining. The washer machine here is in the kitchen. It's uh, got a hose right there that goes through to the bathroom area and to the stock tank we use as the bathtub. It's also the drain tub. Currently, we are gonna change that, but for now that's working because time is something that we haven't allotted to do that. So we have it draining into this stock tank here. And then we pump the stock tank out when we're, probably I think two, after we do two loads, it gets really full, so. That's what we do for that currently. That's gonna change. We're gonna modify this all. And then you can see the clotheslines here we have kind of strung up. They are retractable and or just temporarily placed. And we have a, devised a better system in the future, but we just, again, that time thing. So right now, this is what I'm doing. Laundry. And it, it is a challenge. So I also, I'm gonna connect this hose out to the well pump, hook the generator up, and have the other end hooked under the house. I'm going under the house now to connect this. And it helps if I grab the right end. <laughs> I want to get a longer hose soon. <laughs> this isn't fun crawling under here. Ah. So now we take the other end and uh, bring it down here. Sometimes I have to run hot water over the well spigot, but today I don't have to. Okay. Now we're gonna connect the generator. I've already charged the system this morning because we don't have a lot of solar power coming right now. Now, there was a lot of kinks in this too today. Yeah, feels like it's going through, which is a good thing. Yep, I can feel it all the way through. Awesome! It's a good sign we gotta work quickly. Otherwise the line will freeze. I'm gonna start the washer up. Yeah. The line, that's a good sign. And a little bit of air. There we go. Start going soon. Cool. Yay! That's such a good sign. <laughs> I get so excited. You can usually do, like I said, a couple loads before we have to pump it out of there. And, you know, eventually we're gonna be putting in a drainage system. It just hasn't been a priority yet with everything else that's happened. So that's where we're currently at, but I'm really excited to be getting this done. And it is a, a 
all day affair. We, we save up our laundry for quite some time to get it done, you know, when the weather permits it, when the temperature is a good temperature. I'm very happy that we can do this size of machine. We did try to do a lot of research on off-grid laundry. There is a little washer machine that you can get designed for off-grid, or there's a number of them. And we looked at those, but for our family need, because we are a family of three, uh, this washer is really a good option for us and it uses very little energy. And we did actually run every single cycle of this to figure out what was the less or the least amount of energy consumption. We'll go over that. And uh, this is really good option. Dryer for us is not an option for a number of reasons. One, it's a huge energy consumption. I, I don't think we could even run it on our system. And two, we, we like to do a more passive heat system. We just line dry. And actually we could also line dry outside and we'll be doing a video on that. Um, even though it's freezing out there, that actually wicks out the moisture. So we'll do, we'll do a video on that. But for now we just do it inside with the lines. Um, it's a huge, I feel like a uh, morale booster being able to do our own laundry. It was very time consuming when we did the plunger method and then um, I just couldn't wring it out the clothes well enough that it was taking a long time to dry outside. I want to show you right here the washer machine draining into the stock tank. So we'll pump out the stock tank after a couple loads. I wanted to show uh, pumping which is our current method for draining the uh, stock tank. Sometimes we run it out the window there, but I'm going to run it out today out front. I'm just putting it down there. So I'm gonna shut off the pump and see if it continues to go. I shut off the pump and it seems to be still going. So that's awesome. The pump is a huge draw on our energy system. So this is great because it's passive and I can just get it started and basically gravity does its job. So that's great. And now we'll hang laundry. The downfall of this is I do have to have the door open a crack to do this. So that's kind of a negative and then you can see I've started hanging laundry basically everywhere there's area to hang up and the water to the temperature dependence is temporary once we get our tank system set up in here we'll no longer have to worry about that <laughs> 